video system is composed of two sample rate converters with one performing horizontal scaling and the second performing vertical scaling. The data passing through the two SRCs is dependent on the type of effect being produced. Digital sample rate conversion is the way in which a different sampling frequency is achieved for a signal by using a filtering operation. When the new sample rate is higher than the original rate, the process is called interpolation or upsampling. When the new sample rate is less than the original, down sampling. It is possible to achieve high quality video interpolation and dissemination by applying a 384 tap filter and then decomposing the filter into 64 faces of 6 taps in length. The system implements bidirectional video flow through the HSRC and the VSRC. The direction of flow depends on the type of effect being produced. For instance, for regular scaling functionality, the dissemination was being performed. Vertical scaling will follow horizontal scaling, whereas if interpolation was being performed, the horizontal scaling would follow the vertical scaling. This is, of course, assuming certain implementation of the VSRC that involves the use of line memories in the filter structure. I have illustrated in this presentation an explanation of the complex mathematical software algorithms used in the video vision compression prototype. The following topics are also articulated and explained, such as video system based on compressed feature extraction, video frame rate up conversion using motion estimation, ratio resizer for video MPEG, the interlacing motion compensated interpolation. Frame rate conversion algorithm such as frame repetition and linear interpolation is an important paradigm discussed here. Motion compensated interpolation. The motion vectors must represent the true motion of objects in the image sequence since all the interpolation processes are controlled by the motion vectors. In this video system prototype, I illustrate that the input video data are stored in external memory and the output video is put into another video frame or to the digital video encoder for analog video signal generation. Looking at the video architecture, the polyphase filter is periodical and time variant. Every phase corresponds to one group of coefficients. These coefficients are stored in RAM. In this design, I also use the interlacing algorithm using motion compensated interpolation. The system includes a demultiplexer, a memory unit, memory controller, a front-end parser, the symbol processor. This system components are used for feature extraction during the first stage of decoding. The system also includes an address generator, an inverse discrete cosine transform, a motion compensator, and a display processor. These components are for image reconstruction and display during the second stage of decoding. 
The video extraction unit performs dynamic feature extraction. The low level data including motion vector information, DCT coefficients and shape information are passed from the symbol processor to the feature extraction unit. The mapping is performed by the MPEG initiator. The initiator can also receive information from the front-end parser and system demultiplexer. Once instantiated, the description schemes are written to memory via the memory controller. Multi-resolution video shape coding algorithm. The focus of video coding has shifted to object-based coding. It provides the capability of combining graphics, animated objects, and natural objects in the video. Most of the existing algorithms provides the user with no control over the rate or quality of compression. This design is based on using quad tree decomposition to improve shape coding efficiency and to improve bit rate and distortion. The video QT decomposition is an efficient technique of dividing the image into 2D homogeneous regions. The coding procedure includes coding of the three structure information and coding of the leaf information. As each BAB is coded, its quad tree codes are stored in buffer. Progressive code transmission is receiving attention for application in interactive image communication of a restricted channel capacity. The least information necessary to represent each BAB is transmitted quickly with a few bits as possible. On the receiver's request, as you can see, the image is progressively re reconstructed in several stages until the required quality is achieved. Here I show how the QTSC algorithm reconstructs the BAB as a function of time at the decoder. One can see a rough image during the initial stages and then refine it progressively in multiple scans. So progressive coding allows the user to preview a rough version of the alpha plane and decode the additional information 